Hey guys, it's Cohen Hill, and I'm showing you my combat record here. So, going straight into it, I've played 2 days and 10 hours, and I have a win loss of 4.02. It's kind of hovering around 4, it's been, you know, 4.2, it's been right down to like 3.7, 3.8, yeah, kind of that sort of area. Um, but I'm trying to aim at 4 and just try and get it as good as possible, really. One of the things that really hurts your KD, especially um, your win loss, sorry. Especially in the in the lower um, stages of the game where you haven't really got many wins or losses, um, is like because each loss will actually drop my win loss by like 0 0.04 or something, which is quite a lot. Uh, considering each win will probably make it go up by one, or you know maybe two wins to make it go up by one. Um, so every time like a host disconnects or something, you take a loss and that like drops your ratio quite a lot, and it's like. It's frustrating, but it's just one of the things that happens. Um, so yeah, we're going on to my KD, 2.56, which is at the moment I think that's okay because I don't really concentrate on KD, especially on Black Ops, and especially while I'm prestiging, I'm not too fussed about keeping a good KD. It's when I've stopped prestiging and then there's nothing else to really concentrate on, I start concentrating on stats. Uh, it's always been the same with all the Call of Duties where I've gone through the prestige and not really paid too much attention. I try to for this game I tried to uh, hold it above 2 but um, you know obviously it's gone up a bit more than what I expected so I've got kill streak of 24 there and I've got 9000 kills, 3000 deaths um, pretty good. My last games pretty good scores you can see hold on there should be a uh, a thing showing you my last like 10 games there you go at the bottom there uh, I've been playing a lot of domination as you can see and uh, not bad ratios, there's a couple of 1.18's, I'm not sure what happened there but you know, apart from that, pretty much uh, playing well the uh, last couple of days, well today at least um, so let's go and have a look, we can see my total kills um, yeah total kills, 74U, it's probably the, the best gun uh, in the game and I use that what, as soon as I prestige, I'll use the MP5. Then I'll go on to the 74U. As soon as I get, uh, as soon as I unlock it, and then I'll, the, you know, I'll be waiting to unlock like the AK. Uh, I might use the Galil every now and again, or the M16. But um, for the most part, I'll use the 74U. Um, yeah, you know, because the AK is so far into your prestige, you know, I don't have many kills with it. Um, the Galil I kind of used on one of my prestiges and I used it a lot so that's why that's up there and then the G11 I'd, I'd use a hell of a lot more if it didn't take so long to unlock and same with the Commando because they're both really good guns uh, the FAMAS I can't really get into the FAMAS I, when I, every time I pick it up I think oh this is good and then every time I use it I'm not so sure um, I don't know it just doesn't suit me same with the AUG that just doesn't suit me at all um, so yeah, and then the rest is like guns I haven't really given a try. Not really, you know, 30 kills of, with a gun is not a try. That's like one game or something. Uh, and you can see the Makarov there as well. My general sidearm that I use a lot. Um, we got the times killed by, 74U. The FAMAS, it doesn't feel like I get killed by the FAMAS a lot. It feels like I've kill, been killed by the MP5 a lot more than the FAMAS. Um, and the Commando and M16. Pretty much you know pretty straightforward stuff um, all the powerful weapons at the top you know 74U, the FAMAS, the Galil, MP5, AK, Commando, six, uh, the M16 the G11, I don't know where that is, yeah, look, I've only been killed by it 22 times so I'm sure that will go up as soon as people stop prestiging and we got times killed by the knife 222 times I've knifed people 119 so I really don't knife, I still play on tactical but um, I really don't knife, so um, I can see you can see I'll get killed by the knife a hell of a lot. And we can look at my kill streaks. Kill streaks used spy plane. Even though I don't really run spy plane anymore, but um, you know it's it's up at my top one just because of the start of the prestiges and also the start of the game. I I run it a lot. Uh, Napalm strike probably one of the best kill streaks. Blackbird care package. I don't use care package anymore, but like I say, start of the game used it a lot. Hardline Pro was amazing. Attack helicopter, I, I really don't feel like I use that much. I think it feels like I've had more chopper gunners than attack helicopters, but obviously that's not the case. But oops, um, counter spy plane, I 
don't even remember ever unlocking that, so that's a bit strange. <laughs> and you got the RC car, 26 kills. Wow. Uh, or 26 times used. I don't. I don't even remember. There must be care package stuff because I've I've never actually unlocked the RC car ever. So it's 26 care package RC cars right there. Um, Attack dogs 31, chopper gunner 35. There we go. The Valkyrie rockets, gunship never use. Uh, Rolling thunder never use. Sam turret don't don't use. You know. But for me, like the main ones I use now is. Chopper gunner, dogs, blackbird. Blackbird's going to go up uh, way past care package, probably past napalm strike. I use napalm strike a lot though, um, and I like dogs and I like chopper gunners. So I like to run the, the high kill streaks. And you got the kills, kills with. You see chopper gunner, napalm, attack helicopter, attack dogs, uh, sentry gun, the death machine, <laughs> the grim reaper. Yeah. And then my contracts, never failed a contract yet, which is pretty good. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So what the last thing I should do for this video is go into prestige mode. Are you sure? Yes, I am. There we go. Prestiged. Okay. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you guys later.